Dr. Streeter, can you talk a bit about your recent research on yoga and how it affects the brain? Sure. Um, the observation was is that yoga had been reported to improve symptoms in depression, anxiety, and epilepsy. And all three of those disorders are treated with medications that increase um, the activity of gamma aminobutyric acid, which we call GABA. And it's the primary inhibitory um, neurotransmitter in the brain, and things like alcohol and Valium work on the GABA receptor. Uh, Prozac will increase the activity of the GABA system. Um, so I thought that, well, since yoga helps with all these three disorders, and all three disorders are treated with medications that increase GABA, that maybe yoga works in part by increasing GABA. So the study took um, people who didn't do yoga at all, uh, and we scanned them using um, an MRI scan, and we did what was called magnetic resonance spectroscopy, which allows us to measure metabolites in the brain, and we measured their GABA levels. And then they were randomized to 12 weeks of either a yoga intervention, which was mostly postures, or a um, walking intervention. Uh, and then at the end of the 12 weeks, we scanned them again. They got out of the scanner. We did yoga or walking for an hour, and they got back in the scanner. Um, People's mood, um, positive mood was correlated with GABA levels and decreased anxiety was correlated with GABA levels at the beginning of the study, which shows that this is a generally true observation. The yoga group uh, reported much greater improvement in their mood and less anxiety over the 12-week study. Um, their GABA levels were highly correlated with um, their mood and anxiety and immediately after they had done an hour of yoga, the yoga group, you could see that their GABA levels had gone up, where the walking group's GABA levels had not gone up. And as the GABA levels went up, the change in GABA levels were highly correlated with the change in mood, so you could show that they were, uh, mood was going up as the GABA levels were going up. Uh, so this is an exciting study because it's the first study that shows a metabolite in the brain is associated with a behavioral intervention like yoga. And the pattern of um, the GABA levels going up with the yoga intervention and having improved mood is similar to the pattern seen when depressed people are treated with Prozac and have improved mood and improved GABA levels. Um, so it's an exciting um, concept to have yoga as an adjunct to treatment, not as a substitute necessarily for medications, but as an add-on. Uh, and it can be considered for a lot of disorders. And do you think this type of study will trigger doctors, psychologists, psychiatrists to start actually prescribing yoga as an adjunct, or do you think people are still nervous about it? Um, well, I think that they don't know about it. I think that's one of the issues. I think if you're familiar with yoga, it's not hard to recommend it. If you're not familiar with it, then it's not as easy to recommend. Um, and so, but I think that, you know, there are lots of yoga studios around because lots of people are doing it. And um, I think it's something to be considered as part of an overall treatment plan. And you did this research collaboratively? Is I did right? this research, thank you very much. Uh, we did this collaboratively with um, people at uh, McLean Hospital. Dr. Jensen is the one who got the GABA levels. And it is very tricky to get GABA levels. Um, so he was an essential part of the study. Thank you.